and over the dam and recover the oh, yeah. other side. You, you were here, right? Yeah, I, yeah, that's a long ass walk. Yes, 20 minutes. Um, okay, so same Pro Boat Sonic Wake V2, uh, stripped all the stickers off, polished it, didn't blueprint the bottom, didn't sand the bottom. Nice polish. Took the trim tabs off uh, per Ironclad RC, leveled them with the bottom of the boat, which is about a six millimeter difference between the original trim tab position and how they are up now. 4519 Oxydene prop, four millimeter lines throughout the boat. These are the softer lines from Amazon. So I'm kind of concerned they're gonna kink a little bit. So I've got some thicker, clear lines, still six and a half millimeter outer, four millimeter inner, which is like a millimeter better than stock. So you should get some better cooling there. Um, but they, you know, in tight places, you definitely wanna make sure you got nice soft bends. So we're gonna run the GPS and see if we get 53 threes the best. Uh, Alvin's gonna spot me and <coughs> hopefully everything goes good. A little bit windy today, but not too bad. I also did port the uh, water exit lines. I took them and uh, put a brass insert in them so they don't kink with that little plastic frickin' nozzle. I just wanna make sure we got water coming out here. Yeah, there's water coming out on the... Uh... Oh yeah, okay. A little bit of steering trim. Still have the trim tabs up. Woo! Might need a little bit more down trim. I also have the batteries kind of almost all the way back. I might scoot them forward since we're, yeah, since we don't have any trim tab in it. You know, when I had the trim tabs down, I running the battery all the way back, uh, wasn't a problem about an 850 gram battery, but without anything pushing it forward. Yeah, just a tiny bit of nose weight, I think would help there. Let me get one more pass here. These are the 100 C. Whoa. Definitely got a submarine there. I thought it was gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I probably got it. I see dirt on the nose. Yeah, I got dirt on the nose. I don't think it's cracked. No? Okay. Well. let itself right yeah it takes a second to flip over there we go Woo. yeah we might need to put a little trim back in it boy look at that prop when you get on it That's, that's fast. That's gotta be, I hope we get 60 is my goal here. Yeah, I got the GPS in it. Okay, let's bring it in before we fucking break something.
Yeah, that's the, <laughs> the mud from hitting the bottom of the lake. That was some serious submarine in there, boys. Holy cow. Oh, and we lost, we pulled the cooling hose off, it looks like. Yeah, cooling hose came off probably in that crash. I might zip tie these on. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, let's. Oh, yeah, that's just mud. I'll tell you what, you get a little water and freaking. Yeah, I think I might go back to the clear line because the this line is like kind of soft. And I, it, I don't know. It didn't look like we were having any issues with it kinking, but. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, you need another little polish now. Yeah. It's not so bad, it's just a little bit. No. I mean, that's what's nice about having it waxed on the top is it, you know, stuff comes off pretty easy. But. Okay. got 54.8 so better than as a new pb for sure um, 142 on the esc 103 on the motor a little bit of water in there but nothing too major battery slid forward in that crash I'll probably run the other battery too just to get rid of the just to discharge it because it takes forever on the balancer yeah okay all right I'm gonna put this battery in we'll come back okay run number two in that crash we popped off the hose I think I am gonna go uh, either zip tie these or I've got the clear version of this hose from a different company that's a lot more solid it doesn't you can see how that squishes so easy um, we were getting a good amount of water discharge so I took out the little plastic inlays and the grommets here for the uh, I guess like the bilge ports uh, did the brass 530 seconds inside the four millimeter tubes and then they wedge in there real tight so you don't have to worry about them coming out um, that's an iron clad RC thing. He did a video on that. It definitely widens that out because those little plastic inner ones are, I mean, probably like 1.8, 2 millimeter. So we're almost doubling the amount of uh, circumference of that or diameter of that pipe there. Got the mud cleaned off on the front. Probably going to need to clean that when we get home. Everything seems to be working good. So we're going to go back out for one more run. 54.4. Um, move the battery forward a little bit since we have almost no down trim to try and kind of keep it in the water a little better. <laughs> Steering ray. I'm gonna bring it by and make sure cool water, cooling water is coming out okay. Yeah, it looks like it. it. Looks like we're good there. All right. Definitely don't want to submarine it into the bottom of the lake again. You are a ass. You've killed us. Oh! Oh, oh shit, look at all that mud. Yeah, that, that was a deep dive. Wow. Uh, hopefully we can self right here.
I don't know. It might be too too much mud to flip over, or the battery came loose. Yeah, that's a little mud. Well, I'm gonna have to go get the canoe. I don't think that's gonna flip back over. If you give it one hard, it will not make it jump? No. no. Alright, but you can control it, right? No. Shit. Well, uh, yeah, do you want to, I'm going to go grab it. Can you hold the controller and just kind of keep an eye on it? Okay. If it flips back over, just drive it back. 